So today we're going to be creating a file in Inkscape for use in Silhouette Studio. And today what we're going to demonstrate is how to use the trace feature in Inkscape to basically separate a simple high quality um, solid color graphic into separate layers so that it can be cut out of solid color vinyl and then applied to whatever garment that you want with a heat press or even if you wanted to cut it out of uh, pressure sensitive vinyl or adhesive vinyl you could cut it out of that and use it as a sticker for example so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select our um, image that we're going to use and for this one I've selected a very simple image of an ice cream cone um, no big deal just saved it off of Google Images something that's um, publicly available out there so we're going to open that in our software in Inkscape and I'll maximize the window here and then what we're going to do is we're going to take that image and we're going to use path trace bitmap and the features over here that are available in trace bitmap are um, at the top you have your single scan that creates a group of creates a single path below that you have your multiple scans that creates group creates a group of paths I, I typically use the multiple scans if I'm dealing with an image that has more than one color and then that way you can select the options of uh, colors, the radio button for colors. Um, you can tell it to remove the background. Typically, I don't stack the scans, although sometimes you may find that stacking the scans gives you a better result. So you can experiment with that a little bit. And then if you um, go ahead and uh, click the um, update button on the right-hand side after you select the number of scans you want, it'll show you the image that you're going to get and you want to select a minimum number of scans in order to get each of the colors shown in the image so two does not show enough three does not show enough four seems to show all of the colors two shades of brown and black so then we'll hit OK and that'll execute the trace we'll close that little window we'll go back to our image we'll click our uh, image on top which is our setup as our trace and we'll drag that off of the original image so now can, you can see the original on the right and the trace on the left and then we will kind of triple click on the left to make sure that that is the one that we want and when you see all of those nodes show up you'll know that that's in fact the image that you're looking for now we will take that image of our traces and we will ungroup it and then we'll drag each of the individual colors apart so that we can work with them individually the two shades of brown and the black first one we'll do is the black so what we're going to do on that one is we're going to basically click on path again and then click break apart um, and what we want to save on this is the outermost path which is the background that will go around the whole ice cream cone everything else we can drag highlight right click and click delete the next path we'll work with is the cone itself and on that one it's hard to see on here but there's actually a very fine line of the light color that goes around the outside and we want to delete that we don't want that as part of our image so we're going to break it apart and then we're going to select those and delete each one of them I'm showing the clicks here you can obviously just hit delete on the keyboard which is a lot faster once those are deleted you can highlight all of the remaining parts of the cone go back to path and combine it and that should give you then the cone with the little holes in it and the little pieces all put together we'll slide that over to our black background click on object and then raise that to the top so that we can see it above our background and we'll click on the final part we'll do the same thing we'll break it apart and now in this case what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the three parts of the cone the three parts of the ice cream that I'm after these sort of swirls on top click one hold down shift on the keyboard click the next one and click the third one move them away and then we'll click path combine everything else we can right click delete then we take the ice cream we move it over to the top of the cone go back to object and we're going to raise that to the top so that you can see it on top of the background so now what we're going to do is we're going to move this into um, sort of a template that I have set up um, one of the ways that I like to do things is using a template that's um, preset at the size of my mat and it's a 12 by 24 template and what you'll see is that when I open that you'll see uh, some small dots that are around the outside of the template and those are just dots that are at the corner of this document so that when I pull it into studio it knows that that's the size that I'm working with nothing gets resized nothing gets skewed because when you're dealing with objects graphics from different sources you want to have them all sort of on a standard size document 
So when I pull it in a studio, I'll see those dots at the corners and I'll know that my document is good to go. It's not been skewed, the size hasn't changed, so that when I cut it, I'm not gonna end up with a bunch of different size things. Um, so we'll take each layer and we'll copy and then paste it onto our template. And then once we've done that, we'll save each individual template with the color that we want as its own sort of cut file. So on this one, I'll do file save as, and I'll call it, um, I don't know, brown, brown cut one, for example. Okay, and then we'll just repeat that process with the remaining colors. And as we do that, we'll delete the old document, the old color layer off of there so that we don't need that anymore. We'll save it again. We'll save this one as tan cut, for example. And then we'll do the final layer, which is the black one that goes on the back. Copy, delete the cone out of there, right click, paste. Put that centered it up. We'll save as black cut one. Okay, so then we'll switch over to studio. And then what we're going to do in Studio is we're going to open each one of those individual files and we're going to set it up as we would any other cut file. Okay, so you can see here I've got my dots that outline the document. As soon as I confirm that those are in the right places, I delete them. Um, there's no reason to have them in there because you don't, want, you don't want them in there because when you go to do your cut, you may find that you've accidentally assigned them to actually be cut out of the vinyl and you don't necessarily want that. They're just there for reference marks. Then we'll click on our cut options, our cut settings, cut, pick our material, and then we would just send that to the silhouette the same as we would any other file. And you repeat that with your last two layers. And then once you have those all cut, you would hop over to your heat press, weed them, obviously, and then you would press them, and you'd be all set. So that's pretty much it, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching. hope you learned a little something. Um, glad to be of help.